make a quick video showing you guys a few things about this spy pen. So I'll pull one out of the box here. Put it together like this. First off, this pen, in order to write with it, you turn the uh, base down here and that makes the little pen component come out. But sometimes what can happen is it can start coming apart inside and so I'm going to show you how to fix that. In order to show you how to fix it, first I'm going to show you exactly what can happen. So if you grab the end of the pen right here and you start pulling out, it'll start coming apart like that. It's being held in by a rubber grommet, which you can see kind of inside there. So a lot of times what can happen is, I'm just going to simulate what can happen, is this grommet can get pushed up. See, I just popped the grommet out. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it goes in there. It goes in there like that. But what can happen is it can work itself loose. What you end up with is you get a pen that does something like this. And you're like, hey, what the heck? This thing isn't working anymore. There's something wrong with it. It's defective. It's really not defective. It's because the grommet inside has slid up in this direction and it no longer holds the uh, pen firmly in place. And so to fix this, you need to make a tool. The tool you need to make looks like this. Basically just a cylinder. The cylinder needs to be small enough to fit inside the end of your pen. But it also has to be big enough so that it fits over this end. You don't want something that's going to be hitting the end of this. Okay, you need to be able to slide this over this, yet it needs to go inside of this. So to get it working again, essentially all we're going to do is use this tool that we just made in order to push this grommet inside of this casing, push it in there snug after we put this end in. Now, in order to come up with one of these, I just used a pen from this auto glass place. But you can use a Sharpie. As you can see, they're the same size. Take a Sharpie, cut the end off here, end off here, pull the guts out. Boom, you have yourself a hollow cylinder. Once you get your tool, the first thing you do is drop the grommet in. Make sure that the narrow end goes towards the front. You don't want to put it in this way. Put the narrow end towards the front. And then you do simply hold it. Don't push it in yet, just hold it like this. The reason is because if you push it in right now, you'll never get this slid back in it because it'll be compressed. Okay, so you just hold it in there like that, and then you center this up and you push this part in while holding this side. Okay, so we're gonna push that in there. There, now once that's in, then you can use your tool, and basically what you're doing is you're holding the end of it like this, and then pushing in this way, okay? You can hold on to the case if you want a little bit, but basically you're just you're just pushing that in. And you might want to, I might do this off camera, I've got kind of a flimsy board here, but you might want to take it, put it upside down like this, and then hold the top of it with your whole hand, and then just push down as hard as you can to get that inner grommet slid up inside the end of the pen. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, all done. We've got that firmly put in there. And as you can see, you can tug on it, and it's not going to come out anymore, okay? So that's how you do that.